guy is speaking do you know and i say this with every sense of respect one of god's generals i may not mention his name because i'm speaking to a global audience but one of these generals that was one of the things that brought him down he was a mighty general of god used of god powerfully but he got to a point where people told him you are one of these prophets elijah specifically and when they said that for a while he said no 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 our glory be to god i don't mean the spirit of elijah elijah incarnate you are that elijah that revelation say would come again can i tell you this in the state of pride there is nothing you will not believe that's why it's good to ask god for mercy I want more of you I want more of you Jesus the more I know you the more I want to know you Jesus more of you listen and eventually they now made him believe that he was Elijah and after a while he started believing it and he went and saw the regalia at that time there was no social media so you would not really know what God was doing at the other side of the world it was at that time that the woman that we call Maria Woodward eater God now lifted her and when that man heard that God was using someone outside of him, he persecuted that woman seriously. Number one, that she was a woman. Number two, who are you for God to use you? I'm the only one that God is using here. And thank God he served God, but he did not finish well. The things that are written aforetime, they are for our learning. So that we, through the comfort of scripture, some of these people have allowed their scars to be seen not to condemn them we honor them in life and even in death for the contribution that they brought but there are lessons for us to learn there is nobody destroyed who stands with the potential of destruction keep going as god is lifting you spiritually apostle joshua selman you know sometimes i watch with shock and wonder it's almost it's even embarrassing as i'm saying it now please forgive me but I mean, people can give you this godlike. I know it's a sincere way to honor you. There's nothing wrong with that. Except that sometimes people can give you all this description and all this spiritual paraphernalia. And if you are not careful, you will fall into it with joy. Joshua Selman. I can stand now and begin to pray. And the power of God moves in this place and people are blessed spiritual pride on account of the progress you are making in the spirit on account of the fact that God it has so pleased him by his sheer mercy and grace to lift you to a position where you now represent the voice of God to a generation I warn myself every day God can do without you God can do without you mr. man you are a man you are only of God Lord if you're lifting someone in this city don't do it without me don't do it without me Lord if you're healing someone in this city please don't do it without me don't do it without me lord if you're changing someone in this city don't do it without me i submit to you by god there are many men of God there are many people who need a retreat fast to go back and break down before God and say my maker and my king everything I ever have it came from you 
and thank God for the spirit of revelation thank God for the ability to minister healing thank God for the nations who are hearing what we are doing but Lord I pray the pride that comes based on spiritual achievements may it never 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 while you are saying it you will look like a fool but you are already signing your relevance for the next move of God see this is why you see a lot of people used by God and then a time comes you see another move of God they are still alive and yet you see this is not backsliding it just looks like God says no 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 I can't make you do with this again some of you here are leaders over small prayer groups you are already copying all kinds of nonsense it doesn't matter even if it's from me we have to be careful the things we are learning pride that destroys people it is as a result of this pride that dishonor has crept into the body everybody is correcting everybody someone who has not even started ministry standing at the back of the tree and calling fathers and insulting everybody spiritual pride till today when i have the honor and the privilege of meeting any of our fathers in the faith or anyone who has gone ahead it does not matter what they are saying i sit down quietly as if i do not know anything in ministry i submit to you brothers and sisters and people of god the man talking to you is not stupid by the grace of God forgive me if I sound arrogant I have seen honor I have seen the grace of God I have seen Jesus I have stood before Kings I know what it means to have spiritual progress God has helped me but the way up is to remain on your knees <laughs>